Okay, so one of the things that I've been kind of researching so far throughout most of my time and throughout most of my time that I've been skimming through books and as well just experiencing a lot more based upon my own experience is the fact of how fame, money, and power is evil for many reasons and how it would just destroy us at any sense, shape, or form. And what's really interesting is just the fact of like people don't really know what it means. You know, you often see most of the authors talk about how it's so bad, right? They always talk about how they always talk about how bad fame, money, and power really is. And I guess throughout my own experience, and throughout my myself just reading and trying to trying to get like more information from the books that I've been reading, I'm starting to understand. I just don't really know what they're talking about, what it means. But now, based upon my own experience when it comes to making Roblox Studio videos, it kind of gave me an understanding of like how fame, money, and power is really dangerous. So, based upon my own experience, I remember when I used to make these Roblox Studio content on YouTube, and especially as well with Fortnite videos, I was depressed as fuck, dude. Like, you know, when I was in the aspect of, like, I, I said in one of my previous earlier videos, where like niching down is one of like the most bullshit advice that you've been given by. Because I've done this situation where I've niched down and became a slave to the market because I was actually focusing more on the fame, money, and power. I'm kind of grateful that I didn't really take it way too far because I've seen many YouTubers kind of get into that rabbit hole where like they kind of they kind of just like sacrifice most other aspects. Like they basically just do a bunch of dumb shit just to get views, just to get likes, just to get views, and just to get subscribers. But what I'm starting to realize is that when you focus too much on fame, money, and power, like, let's say, like, if you want to be a rapper, or if you want to be an author, or if you want to be an entrepreneur of any sort of business, or if you just want to be, be an artist, right? And if you're just doing it for fame, money, and power, then what the fuck is wrong with you, right? But what do you mean what makes fame, money, and power really dangerous? And I think it is a double-edged sword the way I view it, because... What re because when you're focused when you're doing it for fame money and power it's basically like you're basically giving away your authentic self it's basically like you're stripping away your authentic self and becoming a slave to people who don't even like the real you like people i mean even people who actually comment positive positively in your videos like maybe there's a possibility that that person might not like the the, the actual you right you're basically taking away your authentic self away and one of the things that i've learned is that authentic decisions are caused by love inauthentic decisions are caused by fear and when you're literally trying to focus on those those results you know fame money power status you know trying to get like a bunch of like these material possessions and trying to get with like a bunch of like models right that is what leads you down a false path that is what basically strips down your authentic self or like the real you maybe that just doesn't really like the real you right and i've almost done it all based upon my own experience it's just the way i view others as it's just stories that i've learned from people that i've actually gotten around with because i've gotten to meet with a bunch of very successful people and i've basically learned a lot of the aspects of what's going on with just how the how they just there's people who just become a slave to other people who just don't even like you if you guys ever want to feel free and get in touch with me feel free to actually join my discord server and as well don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications on for more videos like this if you guys ever want to see more of me you could you could actually go follow me on instagram and twitter where on instagram we're we'll posting some other interesting pictures and as well on twitter i'll be posting some interesting quotes that i've actually learned from the things that I've based upon my own interests. So if you guys ever want to get in touch, all the links will be in the link in the description below. Keep watching. And authenticity is basically speaking upon truth, right? Because when you're speaking out of authenticity, like sure, there may be people who may not like you, but it kind of fills in the whole gap and it kind of makes the, the circle a little bit inner, you know? That's why I always keep my circle tight. That's why I always set myself standards with the people I want to hang out with and as well with the subscribers that I'm also willing to serve because I have my own standards and I have my own respect for myself and for my own boundaries and especially for your boundaries too. So you kind of have to respect me just like how I would respect you with my own terms, right? And the same applies with any sort of of a mastery in a field or in any sort of discipline that you're willing to actually want to pursue in, right? 
or any career that you actually want to pursue in, right? Because in any career that you're actually going to do, you're always going to have the same results. You're always going to have money, fame, power, status. You're always going to have these things. So you have to choose the one that brings you a lot more of joy than the thing that has the extrinsic motivation, the thing that really has the results in it. Because if you're literally chasing for these things, then what the fuck, like, what is wrong with you, right? Because you're you're basically sacrificing your happiness for that goal. You're basically sacrificing the process than that goal. And the objective is actually trying to focus on the process than the result. The objective is trying to turn work into play and do the thing that you really like doing, right? And I know a lot of guys always say, oh, yeah, don't follow your passion. Don't follow your passion. Shut the fuck up, right? You have to do what you love, but have to set yourself for certain boundaries, like I said earlier in the video. Because you have to understand that when you treat your passion as if it's something that you do for a living, you end up falling into the scarcity mindset. You basically fall into the habit of actually needing money. And I don't think it's a really good idea when you fall in, into the trap of like needing, needing, needing money from your passion project. If you if you literally need money, and I know it would destroy your ego, like maybe you can go to college or maybe you can just go get a job, right? Because it's not a good idea if you just like accept everyone 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 else into into your passion project right so you have to set yourself some centers like i said earlier but in 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 terms of that like you have to kind of have some sort of happiness in life and in life we're also meant to thrive and to enjoy it in a way where we don't need to worry about these extrinsic motivations right because let's be honest like if you think of if you want to be an author just to be a new number one new york times bestseller then what are you doing you're basically wasting your time did you even enjoy the work that you're doing and that you're the work that you're literally giving to to them but as well to yourself right because you also have to do work that's actually by heart that you basically take into heart and not just because of what the market really needs fuck the market right so when it comes to authentic decisions it's basically not it's basically what you like what you're basically into Right, and I've had this situation when it comes to playing Fortnite, right? Because when I, when I when I made Fortnite videos, I wasn't really that authentic. When I actually made Roblox Studio videos, I wasn't really ever authentic, and the reason why is because I was I was focusing on trying to ch chasing trends, ch trend chasing, trend chasing, trend chasing, trend trend ch chasing, right? And I was focusing on trying to get more and more and more and more and more and more and more, and the same applies with Fortnite. And the reason why I wanted to actually make Fortnite videos back in those days. It's because there was a huge market for that like because i would see most of these fortnite youtubers getting a bunch of views off of it and i made me realize okay if i actually want to get good at fortnite then i'll get a fuck ton of views off of it but i'm starting to realize dude like i didn't even like fortnite i didn't even like the game <laughs> the only reason i only played it is because i wanted to fit in with people in as well because it was actually too popular right so at the same time when you focus on yourself and based upon your own interests, you become irreplaceable. No one is going to fucking replace you. And you have to value authenticity over competition. Because who are you competing against? Like, yeah, we're meant to compete in other aspects. But at the same time, you should also enjoy a little bit of yourself. You kind of need to enjoy some life, right? You need to enjoy life. And what I mean enjoy life, I don't mean, oh, yeah, let's go play some video games and watch Netflix. No, shut the fuck up. Get out of here. But what I mean to enjoy life is to actually enjoy life working. Right, because you also want to work, you know, in life part of joy is also part of working, right? And I know like we've been told that oh yeah, we should retire and all that stuff, but I think retirement is a scam. Retirement is literally a fucking scam. So I think when you're working on the thing that you're literally in love with, that I guess it's part of your life's task or your calling. Maybe it may be from a universe, maybe it might be from God you can probably be able to actually pursue it for a long period of time. The objective is actually to play the infinite game, to play the long-term game. And not ever go, like, switching business models, the business model, the business model, the business model, the business model, right? I've thought about wanting to do drop shipping. I wanted to do agency. But the thing is, that was just a shiny object syndrome. Don't focus on trying to make money right now. Focus on trying to have some experience in life and focus on actually trying to have some fun in life and then later on like fortune will come to you like yeah follow your money like follow your passion money flows but at the same time like have some sort of like side hustle like or have something else i don't think it's a good idea to actually 
you know treat this as if it's something you do for a living but later on like as your as your business grows or as your channel grows exponentially then you'll be able to have the opportunity to to even treat this as if it's like something you do for a living because it's possible right but just right now i think it's best to kind of go a little bit into like part-time and then later on like as it goes to like a very successful occasions like now you can start to go out as well part of going down the false path is being misled to by society being misled to by the media being misled to even perhaps by societal norms right so when you actually have like this huge pressure by societal norms you kind of have to learn how to limit your inputs you have to learn how to how to just ignore them and kind of just tell them to go fuck off because let's be honest right these societal norms these average people do they even have the life that you want no they don't right are they even successful no they're not right so would you even like to live like them when you're in their when you're when you reach their age probably not right and i know this sounds mean but like at the same time if you literally want to be successful then just try it as well limit your inputs avoid the un the unfortunate and the unhappy because you could die from people's misery like i said you have to avoid the unhappy and the unfortunate because you literally die to people's misery and you probably end up like these people and let's be honest you don't want to be like them deep down you don't want to be like them and i feel that way too i used to hang out with a bunch of like i used to surround myself so so much with like societal norms i used to surround myself with like these average people telling me what, what to do with my life and it was it got me to a point where i ended up quitting youtube for a fucking year and without youtube i felt like nothing i felt like shit like i felt like oh i don't even know what i want to study oh i don't even know what to do with my life i'm tired of living right so at the same time that's why i returned but i i returned with authentic decisions and sometimes the stuff that you literally get like off of hate comments or off of positive comments don't listen to them because the more you listen to them the more you're going to be misled to by inauthentic decisions and like i said inauthentic decisions are caused by fear right so you kind of have to have the courage to be disliked for people to hate on you maybe even your family trying to just like think like oh you should be making this video right so you have to have this courage to be disliked to be to even you know be called out upon other people and it's okay it's normal because that is based upon your decisions your authentic decisions especially in a time when you're actually recording this video so never fear and just experience life and don't fall into the rabbit hole of just chasing trends of what other people are doing this is why i didn't want to do drop shipping because i fucking hate trying to switch like oh yeah product product hopping product hopping niche hopping niche hopping and that's why they don't want to run an agency because i don't like the aspect of going to cold calls and going sliding to people's dms or you know trying to get rejected a few other times on instagram when i'm trying to like go to like some cold outreach so i mean yeah, and yeah it's hard like everything that you want to do based upon your life's task is basically hard and don't expect it to be easy because you have to focus on the practical aspect of side of things and later on as you become good at it that becomes your passion it's basically like so good they can't even ignore you right so you have to work hard and but at the same time you have to understand you have to understand the the hardships that you have to go through with your in with your authentic decisions like yeah you see most of these guys they faked it but i don't want you to ever fake it you know you have to know your real edge but just don't fake it you have to kind of know your edge but just don't fake it and that's what's literally making results feel dangerous that's what makes you know not focusing on the process but focusing on the results literally sometimes worse because sometimes when you actually work so hard just to be famous just to make a lot of money just to just achieve status you have to understand that that's not really going to be your authentic self like you, people are actually going to like you people are actually going to respect you but that's not really you right i remember i used to get so many compliments from like these videos that i used to make on roblox studio and even though I felt really bad for myself because it's just like I never felt like most of these videos I was just really depressed like I remember I was so disciplined enough that I literally sacrificed my fucking social life 
just so that I could devote myself in Roblox Studio developing and even making games for other people. And especially the fact that I would make these videos and it's just a huge burnout. It's so sad, but I just didn't set my standards straight. And that is what literally as well costed my social life and costed me to ever be around with people, to ever, you know, be stuck in like in a fucking cubicle. So you kind of have to have some sort of balance. I know a lot of guys will say, oh, yeah, you shouldn't have balance. Shut the fuck up, right? You should always have balance. And when I mean balance, I don't mean like, oh, I get to go play video games or watch Netflix. No. When it comes to balance, you have to have some sort of balance between your work, your relationships, and your health. If you can align all these three things, those are what actually creates wealth. Those are what actually leads to a good life. When you can actually wield these three things, that is what leads to a good life and even to a very authentic life and you're literally going to be happy for the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years. I know that. And this is actually for my younger self. This is actually for me, for myself as well. If I were to listen to this again, like several times, like that is what actually creates wealth. It's not even having a lot of money, but as well, if you actually wield these three things, you're going to literally be on top of the game. You're literally going to be on top of the world. And that's why when it comes to like being more authentic and being your own niche, on YouTube or, or in any sort of business, you can literally be unstoppable. You can literally be where you are right now and no one's gonna replace you. No one. The objective is to honor your gifts, to give your gift to your people of mankind, to honor your edge and to hone on to it and to respect your standards and, and as well express yourself with truth and integrity.